Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophinet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome to Horizon Zero Dawn, the Frozen Wilds. Yes, the expansion has arrived, and uh, today we're gonna start it off. So, uh, we're still playing on hard. Uh, as usual, I'm gonna be as thorough as I can. We're gonna go through the entire expansion, and I'll do my best to uh, let you guys experience everything alongside me. And I guess I'm gonna, well, cut this intro a bit short because you're not here to hear me talking for 10 minutes before we can actually start. So uh, here we go. So as you can see we're continuing our original, uh, we're continuing on the original save that I used to create the, well, the standard series of the original game, the vanilla game. Which means that we still have all the gear from that playthrough, we have the level of that playthrough, and uh, we have, well, all the skills from that playthrough. We're still playing on hard, uh, and while we're making our way to the very north tip of the map, we're in Banuk territory. I might actually show you on the map. So we're right... We're right over there. It's not actually the north of the map, but it is the north of the Banuk area that didn't have that many quests uh, in the uh, vanilla game, the base game. But uh, now we're going to head over there towards the new quest marker. If you're new to the channel, I want to ask you guys uh, how you found this uh, series. Because uh, I'm always interested to know how you guys actually find your way to uh, my channel. If you haven't played or seen anything from Horizon Zero Dawn, just uh, maybe to avoid spoilers, stop here and do that first. If you don't want to play it or can't play it, I have the entire series available on my uh, channel here as well. Um, it seems like we're pretty close to one of the main quests of the base game, because this looks familiar. Although this might be new as well. Because there's a few of these uh, Horus class machines that are just built it along the map. Is this the way to their territory? Huh. It might be. So let's quick save here. And then uh, I'm guessing I need to climb up. There we go. Those are lovely lights, by the way. It's been a while for me, because I think it's about two or three months ago that I completed the game in full and finished up the series. This is looking new, so I might be rusty when we're going to have to go into a, a combat scenario, but for now it seems like we're heading the right way. Okay, you don't there's look someone. Like you know this path, Hunter. Yariki. Hello, Yariki. It seems you're a long way from anything. Where does this trail lead? For me, it leads south, away from the Banuk, past the Grave Horde. Banukai, watch over me. This is the quickest way out of the cut, instead of going all the way through Osaram territory. And take it from me, you want a quick way out of the cut. I haven't even arrived yet. Why would I want to leave? Strange machine attacks? A curse on the mountain? It's enough to make me look forward to Meridian. Okay, so... To make things perfectly clear, I haven't seen, well, I've barely seen anything about the Frozen Wilds. I know, of course, because of the title, it's going to be very cold and wintry. But aside from that, I don't really know much about what I'm going to expect here. So what is the cut? What sort of place is the cut? It's on the edge of everywhere. The edge of Ban Or, the edge of the mountains, the edge of other tribes' territories. It's suffered in the war with the Karja. But it suffered before that, too. Life there is a test, to survive out on the edge. Not exactly homey. I can see why you'd want to move on. <laughs> Home is what you carry in a roll on your back. Hmm, interesting. I must say they kind of, I think they improved the facial animations because, or it might have been me just, but I feel like that's a lot better than it was before, even though it was already good. You're going to Meridian. Yes. I was named an envoy to the Karja King's court. No one else wanted to do it. It's not so bad. I just recount the songs from Ban Or, and the Karja draw their funny little glyphs. I tell them of the machine's growing anger, and the Karja King still offers aid, even though he knows the Banuk will not accept it. Hmm, so the machines in the cut also are still very aggressive. I do wonder when this is supposed to play out chronologically. 
I'm supposing this is supposed to play out before the end of the game. But yeah, strange machines and a curse. What kind of strange machines? And what kind of curse? Machines tougher and crazier than anything in the south, I heard. And smoke comes off the mountain like a funeral pyre all day and night. But like I said, I just pass through now. Smoke coming from the mountain, that sounds like a volcano. Well, thanks for the warning. I'm curious about these machines, though. Then the warning rolled off you. I understand you adventurers are all alike. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, into the frozen wilds. Just set it as my active quest there. So explore the cut. Let's take a look at the ooh, stuff. Supply crate. Let's take everything we can find. Because I'm guessing we're going to be able to use those supplies. Even though I have a shit ton of supplies already. Never can be too prepared. Let's go up here then I suppose. What are you doing Eloy? This path leads to the cut. The Banuk have nothing to offer besides useless mysticism. The Eclipse won't stand idle while you waste time playing in the snow. Return to your desk. Um, Surprised you're still silence? Up on Shut me. up. I thought you had moved on. Well, forgive me for still being concerned with the fate of the world. I was thinking, Banuk shamans thread blue cables through their skin, right? Kind of like someone else we know, huh? So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuk is to stay clear of your past. It's not the past that concerns me, Eloy. It's the future. Or possible lack thereof. Which is why you should stop prattling and get back to what matters. But as usual, you'll do as you wish. Hmm. Touchy. Indeed. I do. I have missed that uh, spicy nature of Aloy. Um, but Silence doesn't want us to go there, which is... Making it me want to go there even more, because that sounds interesting. Because um, silence, of course, seems to be originating from the Banuk. Because the blue uh, wires in his body, in his skin. Which is something the Banuk strangely do. Might need this. Resist fire potion. What's the sneak button again? This one's a new predator. I can see the heat coming. Okay, just uh, getting used to the controls again. That is, that is indeed something new. Demonic Scorcher. A Scorcher. Interesting. Let's take a look in the bestiary while we're at it. Demonic machines are more powerful and have stronger elemental resistances than their normal counterparts. They are a force to be reckoned with. Okay. And then the Scorcher, a very agile and dangerous combat machine with fire augmented melee attacks and a mounted mine launcher for ranged engagements. Seems to be based on a wolf there. Let's try and take it out. I can still get the upper hand. You know what? I'm just gonna go with fire arrows. Oh wow! Buttons, buttons. I think I hit them there. There we go. There goes the explosion. Jesus. Okay. Um, what else do we have? The fireball? Keep missing the buttons there. I need to press circle to have something happen. There we go, frozen. That should allow us to precision sharp shot, maybe. Ow. Jesus. He's not the... Uh, to take care of. Jesus, come on. Come on, 
butt, wrong butt, wrong butt, wrong butt. There we go. Oh, there we go. I think it's R1 for a critical hit. There we go. Okay. That's um, an introduction to the controls again. <laughs> oh my god. That, um, yeah, that was my brightest moment there. Um, then I need to make arrows like that. There we go. A bit of those, a bit of those. I'm gonna have to get into this again. So that was a scorcher. Nice introduction. You seem to be almost dead already. And I am using a very advanced weaponry for this game. And I think I'm level 50 and the quest starts at level 30. Which makes me think that this would be almost impossible at that level, but I don't know, we'll see. What else is hiding there? It also seemed to be afflicted by that demonic thing. That demonic, demonic modifier, which made it pretty resilient to any type of damage I tried to deal to it. Although the frost did help. Frost did something to it. A Banuk guard is sounding the horn. Okay, that's a welcome, I guess. Hello? Anyone wants to say hello to me? So we're already at the camp. Why, do, why was there a scorcher? Okay, the frozen wilds, there we go. It's uh, some sort of title screen, I suppose. Let's head inside. Well, there's blue wires are everywhere. Well, I guess we're at the the right place hello uh, you sure you'll be warm enough up here nora i've worked up a sweat from the climb yeah indeed we have hello this looks cozy even though everything is frozen i don't know how the snow works right next to a campfire over there but let's keep going Ooh. I do love the Aurora Borealis above us here. You made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. Okay, that was cozy. Oh, and that must be wow. That must be the volcano. It's uh, yeah, nice Smoke ash cloud. The and the village too. What's it for? I don't know. Explore the cut is complete. I don't think I've explored the cut yet, but investigate the source of the smoke. Fair enough. Seems like there's a little loot box over here. Supply grade, sorry. All the loot box. Drum, your songs will not be forgotten. You seem like, no, just a guard. They all look so fancy in that armor. It is lovely, though. Trust Aurea, they say. She'll return to us, they say. And yet here we are, waiting. Look at this place. I mean, I'm just awestruck again. I've I've sung the praise of this game a lot already, so... Okay, so yeah, indeed, there's a lot of smoke coming from this area as well. Can I just drop down here without killing myself? Yeah, I can. Let's go say hi. That guy is big. Get ready for a rare sight, Nora. Burgrind, purveyor of necessities. Another also Most round. of the time, the Banuk burned their dead. But not today. Okay. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye. A nasty business. All their best warriors lost so they're getting a different kind of send off Bergrunt. well that was a scream Okay. 
Now what? They just quiet right there waiting for something. Okay. Twin talks. Interesting. So the Glint Hawks took the effigies, the statues. Ah, he looks like the leader. Love his armor. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it. For our kin sees the fate all Banuk long for. Aratak. Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage! My spear! Our blood is in your teeth, Oratok! We are Banuk. Our enemies. Our prey. Loving the music as well, again. The daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice. Uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea, spouting on about spirits and daemons up on Thunder's drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Orea vanished, I thought the crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Oritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. Okay, so that was a lot of information at once, so... There's some kind of machine making the other machines go crazy against the Banuk here. But let's uh, talk about a few things here. So the Banuk. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Mm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth. Filled with wild animals. You think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid? Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them, but a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. So they don't accept any help. The uh, woman we spoke before we entered the cut said something similar already. Um, well, Bergren, do you know anything about Silence? Have you ever heard of a man named Silence? Tall, deadly serious, cables in his skin? Like a shaman? Uh. I've heard that name once or twice, but always whispered. Huh. Like some boogeyman the Banuk want to forget. Silence was whispered. Not sure what went down, but I got the impression he messed with the Conclave. Or they messed with him. Conclave? All the most important shamans gather in Banur from time to time to keep up with the latest mumbo jumbo. No idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked up on each other. <laughs> Rhea has been to that shindig, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her and make her like you, I guess. <laughs> Good luck. So Orea was the previous shaman who went missing, as far as I understand it? And Orea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratak and the others that it lives up on Thunder's drum, and they believed him. But you don't. <laughs> look. 
I don't know what Aurea found up there. A shaman's not going to talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon, or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Araya's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. It could be Hades, of course, or one of the other missing AI parts that we know about from the main game. Uh, what's Aratak about? Is Aratak a renowned warrior around here? He's a Warwick chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Aurea came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuke to this little burg than I'd ever seen. Know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade route, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then, he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Uh, so much for my best customers. Yeah, really sad because of your loss in clientele, but um, tell me more about you yourself. You lived out here for two winters? Aye. Back home, some fur traders told me about this steel forsaken heap of tents. Good location. Ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Araya. A great prophet is coming, they said. Oh, I heard prophet. Obviously. Honest mistake. Not that the Banook are stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. We could get through to enough of them. We could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. Okay. Indeed, what's a Werak? I've been meaning to ask that, because I don't know... You keep using that word. What are these Wericks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clans back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something and you might get a place. Some Wericks come and go. Some last as long as metal. The whole Banuk territory, Banur, is just a bunch of the biggest, oldest Wericks. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Warwick has a chieftain and a shaman. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed, and the shamans have their heads in the clouds. Might not be bad to have them rule like that, so we have one smarter person or religious person and one more military person leading each uh, Warak. So, uh, who's we? Are there more also I'm like you here? We? Me and my daughter. Mm, my assistant. Well, daughter Varga. then. Varga. My assistant and my daughter. We seem to get along better as business partners. Her mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from Look this Look at the snow playing in the background. You're both, uh, Mm. How do I put it? Uh... Women? No, 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 no <laughs> independent. Look for her. Strong at women. The easternmost Banuk camp. Okay, then that seems to be all Bergren can tell us. So uh, let's talk about the demon. I want to know more about this demon. Mm -mm. Demon. It's crazy talk. Sorry. Anyway. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rafts. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine. Like no one seen before. We like I'm new machines. Interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if Arata can tell me more about Araya or Thunderstrum. Might be worth a shot. Indeed, that was going to be my next step. Go talk to Arata. So we've seen the Scorcher already, but there's, I'm assuming there's going to be a few more new machines in this game. I've seen three more empty slots in the machine catalog, so I'm guessing. Those are going to be all new machines. So let's talk to Aratak. I think this is him, yeah. I do not want to hear this talk from you again. Doubt is heavier than a week's snow. Forgive me, my chieftain. We will be ready for the next attempt. But this will not be an attempt. It must be done. 
Do you understand? My chieftain. Good. So hard-headed. Outlander, I suppose you wish to speak? Indeed. Um, let's get, get right to the chase. Let's talk about Aurea. Aurea knows about this, Damon. Where would I talk to her? She does a shaman's work. That is not for the eyes and ears of others. Certainly not in Outlanders. Okay. Um, do you know anything about the Damon? This Damon you talked about. If you are hardy enough, you can venture out and see the signs yourself. It has changed the machines, made them fiercer, stronger. But what is it? A matter for the shamans to debate. Okay, not really much of a talker, are you? You're Warak. Did your Warak come from this place? No, we rallied most of our hunters from across Banyur to face the threat of the demon. But I was born here and stayed to fight the Karja when others retreated into the mountains. A few of my old warriors remain with me, those who survived. Okay. Uh, do you want to tell me anything about your expedition to the volcano? You set on going back to the mountain? I put my word to it. Even with the risks being so great? The risk of what? Death? It would be a worse fate to bow our heads to the challenge and say too much. You could also call it stupidity, but Song's there Edge. There are other wear acts in Song's Edge too? Yes. The village has its own life, for all Banuku need trade or shelter. After the war ended, it sprang up from what was once a campsite, quick as the bloom between frosts. Perhaps it will last until the Karja seek war again. I don't think they will, but uh, farewell. Thank you, Aratak. I guess that's it then. Good. I prefer deeds to words. Right. We can do that. So let's find Naltuk then. So he's supposed to be Aurea's assistant. Uh, I think, if I understood it correctly. So let's head down and see if we uh, find any more people to talk to. Okay, I want to learn more about how this daemon affects the machines. I've got to find Aurea. And to do that, I need to talk to her apprentice who followed the river north. Her apprentice, not her assistant, but I think it might be similar. Ooh, look at those colored poles. Oh, so they, they dye their shirts here. They're, that is interesting. Um, I'm going to leave the side quests for now until we get a bit of time to, uh, to actually go into that. It looks like the weather is clearing up here a bit. It's not all snow and ice, which Any is also the good. The herd isn't roaming far from the camp. What was that? Keep them together this time. Then we wait. But I bet we'll see a stray. All right, I'll keep watching. So I can see there's also tall necks around here, which makes this, of course, similar to the other areas of the game. Um, but for now, let's just keep it calm. Just run around a bit. Explore the cut for a while and see what else we can do. So now Took should be following over here. There is a campfire here. Huh. I hope the Sun King rewards you for saving his brother. Although there's not much to do here. Indeed. But they don't seem to be interested in me for now. Can I talk? Oh, these guys are named. Now the may the sun grant you a a portion of its wisdom, young huntress. Okay, that seems to be it. Um, there's a symbol on the compass at the moment that I can't really identify. apprentice went north of the river. Hopefully not too far. So this seems to be the bridge across the river, and we're pretty close to the marker already, which is always nice. I hear machines already. And sheep, goat, a goat, a mountain goat. That is a new sight because that wasn't in the base game. But there must be no oh Would Jesus, what the hell is that? Tower. It looks like it's sending out a pulse or signal. He's gonna sneak here. Hello, Naltuk. Naltuk. Who are you? How did you find me? Bergrind told me you'd be out here. He's persistent. 
I've told that Osteram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need to find Aurea. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. Aha! Uh -huh. That sounds like an older machine. The task is to observe the daemon's work. To stop it spreading, if I can. But what can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The daemon's energy pulses from them. Rallies the machines, even repairs them. Hmm. Interesting. And you think this is the daemon's work? Aratok said this daemon was... frenzying machines? Look there. Those with the purple markings. They belong to the daemon. They're stronger, more dangerous. I've seen something like this before. A corruption. But it wasn't from your daemon. You have? Well, then you know more than I do. So that These might towers, indicate... Were they part of your corruption? No. That there's another AI control. at work like here. I said, they empower the daemon's machines. They must be stopped. Huh. Now where did Aurea go? And don't give me another cryptic answer, please. Will you tell me where Aurea went? You ask a lot of questions. Indeed. Only when I'm not getting the answers I need. There's but one voice Aurea wants to hear right now. And it isn't yours. I'm sorry. Okay then, well, fuck you too. Let's stop whatever that All thing right. is doing. You want to stop the spread of the daemon's work? I know how to get started. With my bow and spear. Outlander, wait. Won't you tell me your name? Aloy. Good. If you fall to the daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Aurea. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Yeah, indeed. But I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're gonna tell me where she is. Okay. So... The story or override in the tower. That is interesting. But before we do that, I'm going to take a little break because uh, we're, uh, well, at time to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we're going to try to override that tower. Sounds like fun. So uh, thanks again enormously for watching and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.